Hey there, we got back from the coop not too long ago and I have two dozen eggs. Now we got a dozen today and a dozen yesterday, some duck eggs, some chicken eggs. But as you all know, if you've seen my other videos, Pepper, one of our Bantam chickens, is broody. And for some reason, when she's sitting on the eggs, at least the batch that I just collected, they had some kind of a sticky, warm substance on them. I'm not sure if that's the bloom, as far as I know, when the bloom, it's not really like a substance that's sticky and gross looking. It almost looks like an egg yolk. So I'm wondering if she ate one of the eggs while she was sitting on them. I'm not sure, but I'll show you because it is really, really dirty. Now, normally we just leave all of the eggs on the counter unwashed. And when we go to actually cook them, we wash them off and then we cook them. Um, I have one dozen that I keep inside of the refrigerator and this is empty now. So this is my little, uh, my little egg carton. It's actually a child's toy, but I made it into an egg carton. Um, so let me show you some of these eggs. They are absolutely filthy. So these, I'm not going to leave these on the counter because they don't look very pretty. Um, if you can see, and all the eggs that she was sitting on, none of them were hers. So I don't know. What do you guys think? It's, I, it looks like egg yolk to me. Okay. And you don't want like salmonella. You don't want any of that, like just grossness hanging around. So I'm going to wash these up. This is a duck egg. I mean, duck eggs are always filthy. I'll show you our duck eggs that we have. So I'm probably going to wash the duck eggs too. <laughs> Cause, um, they're pretty filthy. Now the difference between duck eggs and chicken eggs, it is insanely different. Okay. So for instance, this is a chicken egg whole hen egg. This is a duck egg. Now just feeling them, their consistency, the duck egg has like a waxy coating, uh, very similar to like their feathers. Like as they go in the water, then they don't hold the wet. It just sheds off because of the oils. Now the eggs are super similar. So this is like a waxy coating to it. And then the chicken eggs, they're just kind of, you know, they're an egg. They're a nice different kind of consistency to the shell. Now in another video, I'm going to show you the difference between a chicken egg and a duck egg actually cooked on the cast iron skillet that you see behind me. Um, so what I'm going to do with my eggs here, I want to wash a dozen of them. I'm just going to take, I normally take hot water, but I'm going to take some hot soapy water with my uh, scrub daddy. And I am going to take the on dish soap and scrub a dub dub. Really simple until I have my little egg press curtain all filled up. Now I had read somewhere that that eggs that are unwashed on the counter, they can last four weeks. Okay, before they need to be used. Now, if you wash them and you put them in the refrigerator, I read that it's two weeks. If they're unwashed and in the refrigerator, three weeks. So I don't know if any of that is true, but we don't seem to have a problem with that. We get about between, I would say, 10 to 15 eggs as of right now a day from our coop. And we don't seem to have a real big problem with too much piling up. But once we add the chicks that we have <laughs> that are going to be ready to go in the coop in the next couple weeks, uh, we're going to have a lot of eggs for sure. Right, you know, I'm going to put them on the towel first. And dry them off. They're just so beautiful. All the different pairs they're doing. Like you can just see, like, it's just filthy. And that stuff is stuck on. You got pine shavings, you have feathers, all that stuff. Grab in little circles. Got five done. Mm -hmm. 
ಇಟ್ಟು bantam chicks they lay these small white eggs okay and then our moran she lays the dark speckles loretta she lays kind of like a nude color and she's our jersey giant um, they all lay different colored eggs the other ones i'm not sure because i haven't actually caught them laying any eggs but now i have my eggs laid out here slide this down for you guys to see. Ta-da! There they are. Beautiful, nice and glossy. <laughs> Alright, let me grab oh that this will do better at drying them. Alright, I'm gonna dry them off. Beautiful. Now these since I washed them and they're gonna go in the refrigerator. These need to be used in, what was that? Two weeks? Two weeks for washed refrigerated eggs, three weeks for unwashed refrigerator, and then four weeks, I believe it was for the countertop eggs. Now there's other ways you can store eggs too. That would be putting them in, I think it was lime water. And apparently that will make them last up to a year. But there they are. And I was just showing you guys just how dirty those eggs can be. Let me wash up one of the duck eggs for you. I'll show you the difference. Now, the ducks don't go in the nesting boxes. They just lay their eggs wherever. <laughs> they kind of have made a little nest, to be honest, in the um, straw or the hay. Here's the duck egg, and there's the Moran egg. So the size, if there is a difference. The texture, once washed, is pretty much the same, but unwashed, you can definitely tell just from the texture alone, the difference between a duck egg and a chicken egg. So in the next video, I'm going to be showing you the difference once cooked uh, between a chicken egg and a duck egg. So let's see the size difference, the taste difference, all that good stuff. See you in the next video.